this is just a little refresher tutorial for those of you who have bought package B, which includes the mini double decker, the eyeshadow everything brush, the 30 second hack brush, and the stay out there gorgeous setting spray and the perfecter. So um, I'm just gonna start off by spraying my perfecter just on the tip with a couple spritzes of the um, stay out there gorgeous spray and then I'm just gonna tap it around my eyelids underneath and then just anywhere where there might be creasing or just finish it off. I just tap it all over. Okay, at this point, if you uh, tend to be a little bit more oily or um, you just want a little bit more staying power, you can spray your face with this stay spray before you begin. Okay, all right, and then I'm gonna get into my makeup with the pointed end of the 30 second hack. I'm just gonna get my highlight color and do my eyelids. This just kind of primes the eyelid, gets us ready for a little bit of eyeshadow. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get my fluffy side of my eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna use a color called Basic. So when I do eyeshadow, I like to do a pressing motion kind of a tap slash press and then sweep it. And that allows me to lay the pigments on before I work them into the skin and it, it wastes less. So you won't get as much like dusting and flaking down that way. Okay, I'm gonna do And I'm just going basically on the whole lid with this color and then I'm going to come back with a little bit of a darker color in my crease. So I'm going to go with oak in the crease and I'm just going to tap it in and blend it. Kind of focus on the corner and the crease. My eyelashes are going crazy. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch the brush over from the fluffy side to the smudgy side. And I'm gonna use this oak color and just go in my lash line on the bottom. And what that does is it gives you kind of a lined look without the crispness. sort of just frames your eyes, but um, it's not a full-on liner, which I like for wearing every day. It wears nice, and um, it's just a little bit softer. So then I'm going to be done with my eyes for now. I wish my eyelashes weren't being weird, but okay. So then I'm gonna take my tipped end of my 30 second hack in my highlight color. Okay. and. I'm gonna teach you how to use two highlight colors this time. So I'm gonna start in the lighter highlight color, okay? So a lot of times I refer to this as the accent highlight, and I'm just gonna tap it in right here under my eye, okay? Just basically just the dark circle area, okay? Now from here on out, I'm gonna use the darker highlight color. So I'm just gonna come in here where I'm red on my nose, across my cheek, get in this groove really good. Dip every time I go to a new scent area of the face. I'm leaving this whole area for contour. sure my cheekbones really nicely highlighted so 
So the reason to use two highlights is sometimes it just gives you a little bit more of a pop and a waking up under the eyes, a little bit of dimension and it can just look really pretty. And also like if you have issues with melasma or rosacea, sometimes it requires you to have a darker highlight color, but it won't necessarily like brighten you under the eyes as well as using two colors. So that's why I'm showing you that. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to the blunt end of the brush. So this, I always think blunt brown, okay? So you're gonna go in your contour color for this. That's the darker foundation color. I'm going to find my cheekbone and just tap it in starting from my ear forward. And if I need more, I'm going to dip again and start again at the back and move forward. Okay. And it's okay if the line is crisp at first. You can soften that later. I like to have a crisp line because then I can see right where it is, which is nice. Okay, and then... <clears throat> Now we're going to frame the face by doing the hairline. So I like to pull my hair back and get it right on my hair and move it forward, sweeping it forward. And what this does is it gives you a frame on your beautiful picture of a face. Frames or pictures on or pictures in frames always look prettier. So that's what that does. And then I'm going to come down from my ear and beneath my jawline. So you go right where the shadow falls and then you stretch it on down your neck, blending, blending. Okay, so you see I've gone here. I've started from the ear three times. Ear to the center of the face for that jaw or for the cheekbone to pop. Ear around the um, frame of the face and then straight down and underneath. And blend down the neck. So now I'm going to do the other side. Notice how I'm holding the brush so that the long side is going along the contour of my bone there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the length of it and go along my hairline. I can come in a little further on my temples if I want to. And then straight down and underneath. You'll be careful not to come up here because that'll make you look bearded. You're just really emphasizing the shadow there, okay? All right, and then the last place we go with contour, I just tap it on the side of the brush, like just get it on this edge right here. And then I sort of just lay it going this way and sweeping up into my brow and down on the tip. Okay, and then I like to take that lighter highlight, the accent highlight, just on the edge of my finger like that, and run a straight of a line down your nose as you can. And the thinner that you can get that, the better, because that'll just make your nose look thin. Um, and then uh, if I just have the 30 second hack, I can use this side for blush. I'll just need to be careful to clean it in between uses so I don't get blush on all those places we just went with contour next time. So I'm just gonna do a couple taps in the blush and I smile and go right here on the apple of the cheek and blend it up. So this really softens that contour, kind of camouflages it even though it's still there doing its job. You'll notice that that crisp line just melted away. Okay, when I sweep up towards my temple, I'm gonna be careful not to bother this highlighted area too much because that's really pretty. I want that to stay highlighted. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my finger with a little bit of the um, illuminator and tap it in right here. This is Honey Illuminator, by the way right at the height of the cheekbone, that area that we want staying highlighted. Okay, and you can be playful with this. I'm gonna just put it on the corners of my eyes too, and then a little bit on the filtrum, or some people call it Cupid's bow. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna take my lip and cheek and just tap a little bit on my lips. A little bit of color. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you. All right, so that's it. I'm all done for the day. So, oh no, I'm lying. <laughs> You'll want to take your sponge, your 30 second, or your perfecter, and spray it again, just to mist, and blend. The better I get with the brush, the less I have to blend, but I do focus on just right under the eyes and anywhere I think there could be a little bit of creasing. And then I'm gonna take my setting spray and hold it 10 inches from my face and I'm gonna do a T and then an X, okay? And that should get your whole face quite wet for a minute. And then let it dry and now we're good to go. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you and I hope you enjoy your new makeup.